A Taiwanese company called Movatec said this week that they will begin manufacture of a new OLED panel incorporating a new technology called Touch and Display Driver Integration TDDI, which may feature in next year's iPhone 17. The report originates from the Asian paper DigiTimes, relayed by MacRumors, which claims that the new TDI screens would enter manufacturing in the second quarter of 2025. Apple is expected to be one of Novatech's first customers. While industry insiders remain tight-lipped about potential end customers, speculation suggests that Novatech's proposed shipping schedule could align with the next-generation iPhone displays in 2025, writes DigiTimes. The new TDI innovation could enable next year's Apple handsets to feature thinner OLED devices as the touch and display layers are combined, which could lead to the future of the much-rumored iPhone 17 Air, which we've also seen referred to as the iPhone 17 Slim. It's not known if Apple will use the technology from Novatec, because the rumor is primarily speculation on the part of DigiTimes, they also speculated that Apple might test the new display on some other products including future iPads and Apple Watch models. It's also feasible that the Cupertino business might be using the smaller panel on the rumored iPhone Flip or a potentially folding iPad. For yet, the only additional reports we've read regarding the iPhone 17 Slim and its potential size is that the next Air model might replace the Plus and have a similarly huge display at 6.6 .6 inches. It could feature a smaller hole and pill-shaped cutout for the dynamic island. If it the innovation makes its way into the mainline iPhone 17 series, it may join a projected 120Hz ProMotion display, which is supposed to be an LTPO OLED screen. A leaker on Weibo said that the iPhone 17 will feature a super-hard AR, anti-reflective, layer to make it more scratch-resistant. Still undecided on whether to buy the iPhone 16 series, if you're already an iPhone 15 user, you might feel even more conflicted. If you are considering if the next 2025 flagship iPhone may be a better buy for you, you may not be altogether wrong. While there are not any verified specifics from Apple about next year's iPhone 17 series, however, leaks and rumors have been plenty which have already given us a solid idea about what to expect from the phones. Next year, Apple is speculated to mix up the roster a bit. The Cupertino firm will debut four new iPhones as usual. However, the iPhone 17 Plus is expected to be replaced with a new iPhone 17 Air, which is also said to be the thinnest iPhone ever. To do that, Apple will supposedly be integrating the action button with the volume rocker. The similar feature is also likely to debut on the iPhone 17 Pro, which means the future iPhones will likewise feature only a single button for all the action button things and volume, in addition to the camera capture button, which is pretty much embedded into the body. Let's examine in detail at all we know about the iPhone 17 series thus far. Apple is likely to make significant improvements with the iPhone 17 series, set for a September 2025 release. According to speculations, the iPhone 17 will have ProMotion technology introducing a 120Hz display for the regular models. This improvement, formerly reserved for Pro models, will offer consumers a smoother navigation and video experience, marking a huge step forward for the standard iPhones. Adding to the suspense, Apple is apparently intending to unveil a new model in 2025, dubbed the iPhone 17 Air. This iteration is expected to be smaller and will also contain a 120Hz display. Industry conjecture is that the iPhone 17 Air might replace the current Plus series, with the iPhone 16 Plus potentially being the last Plus model released by Apple, barring changes based on sales performance. Ross Young, a credible source on Apple's hardware, has fueled these suspicions, saying that ProMotion will provide a greater refresh rate to regular models though it's still unknown whether the display will include a 10 Hz or 1 Hz low-end refresh rate. This enhancement will certainly force people to hold off on upgrading to the iPhone 16 series this year, as many will await this anticipated improvement in the next generation. The debut of the iPhone 17 Air is especially important as Apple continues to experiment with its portfolio, similar to how it introduced the iPhone Small in 2020. 
However, the tiny model failed to meet expectations and was phased out. Similarly, reports claim the Plus model hasn't achieved the targeted sales, leading to the development of the slimmer Air variant, which may deliver more economic success. We haven't heard much about the design of the iPhone 17 series yet, but one leak says that these phones could include another new button, this time a single button that would replace the action button and both volume keys. Details of this proposed button are scarce, but it's easy to think it may behave like the camera control key, allowing you to slide to control the volume and push it to launch an app or feature of your choice. Perhaps it might even accept both mild and powerful presses to launch different things. And in a less plausible leak, we've heard that Apple could equip some or all iPhone 17 models with under-display Face ID. We've also reportedly heard that the iPhone 17 Pro Max could feature a narrower dynamic island than the present model, and that it will unsurprisingly have a titanium frame, while the other models will apparently have a more complex aluminum shell. The same source also states that the iPhone 17 will have a 6.1-inch screen, the iPhone 17 Air a 6.6-inch one, the iPhone 17 Pro will have a 6.3-inch display, and the iPhone 17 Pro Max will have a 6.9-inch one. So that's the same sizes as the iPhone 16 line. However, the speculated new Air model could have a slightly smaller screen than the Plus model it might replace. There's some debate on the iPhone 17 Air's screen size too, with Lika Ross Young stating it will be somewhat smaller at 6.55 inches, while Universes advises to expect a 6.65 inch screen. We've also heard that all four iPhone 17 variants could offer a 120 Hz refresh rate and an always on display. In fact, other sources have echoed this, suggesting that the standard iPhone 17 will join its pro siblings in featuring a 120 Hz refresh rate and an always on screen. So this wouldn't be an upgrade for the pro versions, but it would be for the ordinary iPhone 17 and for the iPhone 17 Plus if we get such a phone. Finally, We've heard that the iPhone 17 line screens might feature a type of glass that's tougher to scratch and cuts down on reflections. The iPhone 17 line could have numerous big camera enhancements, including a new 24 MP front-facing camera for every iPhone 17 model up from 12 megapixels on the existing phones. It's a claim the source, Jeff Pugh, has made several times. The same source also points to a 48 megapixels telephoto camera for the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max, up from 12 megapixels now. We've also heard analyst Ming Chi Ko suggest similar. However, they weren't sure whether both Pro models will have this, or if only the iPhone 17 Pro Max would get a 48 megapixels telephoto camera. And Lika Ice Universe has also indicated that the Pro models will have a trio of 48 megapixels cameras, implying an enhancement for the telephoto but not, at least in terms of megapixels, for the main or ultra-wide cameras. Finally, we've heard that Apple might be considering a camera with a mechanical aperture for at least one phone in the iPhone 17 series. This would allow you to modify the size of the aperture and consequently the depth of field. One leak indicates that, unsurprisingly, the iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max will use a new A19 Pro chipset, and that the other models will have either an A18 or A19 chipset. The same source also states to expect 12 gigs of RAM in the Pro models, up from 8 gigs currently, but that the ordinary iPhone 17 and the iPhone 17 Slim will only have 8 gigs. Another source has echoed this, suggesting to expect an A19 Pro CPU and 12 gigs of RAM in the iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max. This chipset will apparently be developed on a new 3 nanometer manufacturing technique, which might represent a substantial improvement in performance. That said, analyst Ming Chi Ku predicts that only the iPhone 17 Pro Max will get 12 gigs of RAM, with the others locked at 8 gigs and that the Pro Max will also have an updated cooling system and only have enhanced on-device AI capabilities. Kua also claims that the iPhone 17 line might have a lighter and thinner motherboard, which would provide room for more components or a larger battery. 
There's also an outside chance that some or all iPhone 17 models could incorporate under-display Touch ID, giving you a fingerprint sensor as well as Face ID, although we doubt that. New chipsets are sure to make an appearance, and we'd assume at least some models would get up to 12 gigs of RAM, especially as this could aid with AI. We'd be quite surprised though if Touch ID made a return, even in under-display guise. That said, Apple more commonly uses the second week of the month, so it may be unveiled somewhere between Monday, September 8, and Friday, September 12, with September 8, 9, or 10 being most plausible based on the weekdays Apple generally goes with. In any case, the phones will likely then go up for pre-order on the Friday of their announcement week, meaning probably Friday, September 12, or failing that September 5, if our guesses are right, and then ship on the following Friday, which would probably be September 19, but could be September 12. As for the price, the sole leak there so far is for a new model likely dubbed the iPhone 17 Slim or iPhone 17 Air, more on which below, but a report claims this slimmer iPhone 17 model could have a starting price of $1,299. We would however take it with a pinch of salt, given that would be a greater price than the current top iPhone, and some other sources imply this would be positioned more in the middle of the range. In any event, we can look at prior pricing for likely starting prices of the other models. The iPhone 16 then starts at $799. The iPhone 16 Plus starts at $899. The iPhone 16 Pro starts at $999. And the iPhone 16 Pro Max starts at $1,199. Thus, successors to these models are likely to cost at least this much. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates.